What do you mean you don't know where it is? Well, it obviously isn't here, is it? It must be in the yard still. He's picked up the wrong tractor. What do you mean it was signed out this morning? Well, it... So you've delivered my tractor to someone else, haven't you? Just, just a minute. You've delivered my tractor to someone else. It's not there. Where is it? Wow, honestly, they won't admit it, but they've lost my tractor. They must have lost it. Yeah, the guys turned up with the wrong tractor. I've then phoned them to complain, find out what's going on, and see whether or not it is still coming today. And they don't know where it is. So, let's just unload this a moment. Yeah, honestly, at least we've got the trailer. That's something. But... We are going to have to stick to the original plan. The, the Zeta is just going to have to do it. It's, it's going to be very, very busy today. But what can I do about it? Now, let's just make sure that's unloaded correctly. It's sounding good. It's doing a good job. I don't see any, uh, any of the uh, actual seed coming out, which is good. Definitely no leaks. Wonderful. And it does sound like there's a half decent amount in there actually. I am quite impressed with these little fields. Right, that is that done. So let's just uh, get this turned off now. Close that back up, get the engine stopped. So we are going to have to drive down to the other field with the Zeta. Just because, you know, it's quite a small gate. There is absolutely no way I'd get that harvester with that header through that gate. So we'll just pop down there. Park up the header somewhere near the entrance. Connect it straight up to the harvester. I'm thinking maybe I'll go a couple of heads around the field first. And then we'll get straight into doing the middle bit. But we'll keep going until the harvester's full. But then I will have to come back with the Zeta and sell what is in that trailer already. Because there's no way, there's no way it's going to pull a full trailer. At least I don't want to try anyway. I do need to chase Mr. Javascus as well actually. Okay, hopefully someone will let me out. Well, they don't really have a choice. Because I'm already going. Right, let's just try and get out of this gate. Lovely. I have already opened this gate this morning. So we'll take it nice and wide try and get in here without any problems I think we can do that now I am gonna have to go over some of the crop not really a great deal I can do about that let's make sure we're in we are in good yep I'm just gonna have to it's a very very small amount but it's just the way that this header trailer is really I can't get around it but it's fine so we'll just back this up in front of the gate, I think. I think that'll work quite well like that. Yeah. We'll just get out and double check it. Yeah, we have done a bit of damage there, haven't we? Not ideal. 
That's fine. I think I can pull the, the harvester straight up, connect it up, and get going. No hanging about this afternoon. We haven't got time. We have enough time now just chasing this tractor, which doesn't even look like it's going to get here. Doesn't even look like I'm ever going to get it, to be honest. It's been nothing but trouble. Absolutely nothing but trouble. So I figured I'd take this down through the main road, to be honest. I don't really want to drive it down our lane. I don't think that would end too well with some of those low branches. Hopefully, this isn't going to take too long. I do hope not, anyway. Are you letting us out? Thank you very much. I am going to have to take it wide, though. Yeah, I could probably have done with Mr. Javascus giving me a hand today, you know, but I'm glad he's not. He is poorly. Can't force him to do things like that, but I did not expect these hassles today. It is a shame. It's a shame nothing's going right. Now, I'm just going to swing around here and try and take this as wide as I can. Try not to take out our gate. Cannot see a great deal. Let's just play it safe. Wonderful. Alright, let's just get out, connect the hose up. The PTO is all connected as well. Brilliant. So it should still be in nice working order. It's had a good warm up this morning. So let's get around. Let's get around this field a couple of times, I think. I'll tell you what I might do quickly. Let's move this tractor out of the way. Brilliant. Um, just pop it up here, I think. It's one advantage of having a nice deep grass verge. Yeah, that would be fine. Let's leave it here. Okay, right. Let's do it. Lower that down. Get the header spinning. So we'll go around to the right. <laughs> Mainly because I don't want any of my neighbours to see just how much crop I've damaged. It's a bit embarrassing, isn't it? So let's just hide that quick. Let's just go over that with the harvester. Wow. Okay, how long is this going to take? Definitely the bigger field by far. Hopefully not too long. I do need to get this finished ideally today. Other things to do. I've got things to do in the week. I mean I would imagine Mr. Javascus is going to want to move house at some point. I know that is coming up. I have offered to help him. So we will see. Just finishing off the headland pass number two. It's not taking too long, you know, and it certainly feels loud behind me. It feels like it's putting a lot of grain into there. We'll have to stop and have a quick check in a moment. But yeah, it's, it's definitely it's giving me a ring in my ears. Uh, interestingly enough, I've just had a text message through from, uh, well, what do we call him? Mr. Travascus Jr. So Paul, the, the father-in-law, the future father-in-law, potentially, has just messaged saying, Stick the kettle on. 
which is really bizarre. So I'm just going to have a look and... Wow. That is good. I mean, that is nearly what we made in the last two fields already. Just in two headland passes. And see how much we've got to do still. This is fantastic. This is great. I, I need the money. I know I've got a bit of money, but I, I need to be earning money. I think, actually, this would be the first actual farm income, I think. Don't know. Right. Let's, um... Let's go put the kettle on, but I do find that very bizarre. Why would he randomly message me saying, stick the kettle on? Very odd. Right, we'll get back to that. Probably do with a cup of tea now, anyway. Oh, this walk feels longer and longer every time I do it. I'm definitely getting older. Hang on a minute. What is that over there? Oh, it's Paul. Hang on. What What's going on? Good afternoon, Paul. Afternoon, Jack. Um, how have you got the class? Wow, what happened was, Billy went past there this morning, and I knew that it was being delivered for you today, and I seen that they're bloody parked up, still parked up, so I went in and asked them, and they realised they loaded the wrong tractor, so, I spoke to one of the mechanics there, a guy I knew, went to school with the old chap. And, uh, yeah, I just drove it here myself. You drove it all the way here? Yeah, I did, yeah. Why not, you know? Family now, aren't you, really? Yeah, how long did it take you, though? It must have been, like, four or five hour drive in that thing. Yeah, yeah. And bloody 32 miles per hour is the maximum I get out of it. God, it did take some time, but it don't matter. It's family. Oh, no, I really appreciate that. Anyway, you, you got here before I put the kettle on. Let's go have a cup of tea. Yeah, all right, part. I really appreciate you bringing that tractor, by the way. I really do. I don't know if I said it, but it's just... I, I'm not having a very good day so far, if I'm honest with you. I'm, I'm behind on the harvest. I was really quite concerned about how I was going to finish it. I, I don't think I could have done it with the Zeta, but now that that class is here, honestly, it's, it's changed the day. It's still going to be a stretch. Still don't know if I'm going to do it. it. The afternoon is kind of getting a little bit dimmer. Hopefully the moisture levels don't increase. But honestly, thank you. You, you might have just saved me a lot of hassle and made me a bit of extra money there. That's alright, my answer. No worries, my old cock. Here, I'll, um, I'll give you a hand if you like while I'm here. Would you? Yeah, yeah. Used to uh Used to drive uh, combine harvesters back in the day for the old man. Oh, honestly. Well, that, I mean, can you still remember? It's not really what you do now, is it? Being a solicitor is very different to driving combines. Oh, bloody old boy. I, re I retired from being a solicitor bloody 10 years ago. Well, semi-retirement, that is. Oh, yeah, I dabble in it once in a while. Uh, I've still got uh, a lot of people, a lot of friends high up who get in contact with me and need some assistance once in a while. If I'm honest with you, it's pure coincidence I was kind of doing it while I dealt with your case. And that's only because I had a high level case with the, the other person who had a similar issue. So, to be honest, I only really do it when I fancy a new bike. Oh, I did notice you had quite a nice motorbike outside your house, actually. That, that one time I've been over... Yeah, it was really nice, you know, I've always regretted never doing a motorbike license and driving a bike. I really wish I did that. you got plenty of time, my cock. Plenty, plenty of time. I know people who can get you through that bloody driving test on a bike within a week. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, yeah, I would like to do that one day. I would like to do that one day. But not for a minute, anyway. But if you're honestly sure that you're willing to help, by the way, I'm absolutely going to say yes, because I do really, really need it. Yeah, yeah, I can do that for you, my cock. Let's get on, come on, let's do it now. Yeah, let's go. Okay, right, here we are. So here's the field. I've gone round twice already, a couple of headlands. To be honest, it just needs the middle doing now, just ups and downs, nice and easy. Uh, no no real drama. You can't really go wrong, to be honest with you. Alright. Alright, my handsome. No problem. Just, uh, yeah, how do I start this bloody thing? 
Yeah, go on, jump up in. Right, just to your right hand side, there's a little button. It's got a push start button, you know. It's like your BMW, isn't it? God, this don't bloody look anything like my BMW. Christ. <laughs> right, anyway, have you got it? Yeah, I got it. My hands are a bit bloody loud in here, though, isn't it? Christ. Yeah, it is loud. Anyway, but I'll leave you to it. I'm just going to get the, the trailer down and I'll, uh, I'll unload you. you. You're probably three quarters full. Yeah, all right, my bird. Jesus. Cool. I'll tell you what. It's a half a morning of uh, work and it's starting to smoke a bit now. You can tell it's old. This thing is not going to last us forever. That's for sure. It's bloody loud as well. Right. Let's head on back. Let's get this class. I'm excited to drive the class, actually. And I can have a bit of a play with it. Well, someone else is keeping on top of that field. This is amazing. What what a turnaround. I've gone from feeling like I wanted to to scream at someone to quite excited about making some good money today. Amazing. At 29 and I find myself wondering What did happen to the last 10? Ran away with my life fast forward, never turn back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true. I'm just as surprised as you. I'll tell you something, this thing looks amazing and it runs sweet. It runs really sweet. I'm really happy with this. I am quite happy with this. Now let's just get these hoses connected up. Good. And we'll uh, we'll head on down to the the field. This is good. Do you know I don't know? A part of me seems to remember it had a three point linkage on the front of it, but maybe I was just being too optimistic. I don't know. I'm sure it did have though. Maybe not. Exactly how well did we do? Oh. Good. I'm happy with that. That's more than I thought from those two fields. Which to be honest, you could barely even consider them fields to they are pretty damn small. But that's good. That that's alright that is. That is alright. Right. Let's get on. Let's go and see Paul. See how he's getting on with that. That harvesting. I can't imagine he would have any issues with the harvester. It's pretty much the most basic thing you could buy. Right, am I going to clear the gate? Yeah. Very good. So Mr. Travascus is, is going to be moving soon. It's the end of an era. I am quite sad, but I did offer to help. And I am going to make a point of visiting. You know, we, we're going to have we're going to have his great-grandchild very soon. So we, we have to go and visit a lot. But I think it's unfair to assume he's going to come back and visit us. It's quite a way to go when he's living back in England.
Honestly, Paul, thank you so much for your help. This has really kind of it, it saved me today. It really has. And actually, to be fair to you, you're a pretty damn good combine driver. Nice and straight. I had to get all this bailed up at some point. You've done a great job. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. That's right, my cock. No problem. Here, I'm just over here, really. Bloody father's moving house tomorrow, isn't he? Tomorrow? What do you mean, tomorrow? Yeah, but you all sold up, ready to go. Bungalow, down there opposite me, all ready to go. Don't know when he's got van due, mind. I bet the silly old bugger ain't organised anything, but... Yep, moving him tomorrow. Wow, I, I didn't expect it to be so soon. Um, I'm just curious though, if you've driven all the way over here in the class for me, how are you getting back? Wow, it's going to be a bit of a bloody squeeze, but look, I was going to take us all back in uh, that yellow thing that she's bloody driving. It looks like a bloody go-kart. Oh yeah, squishy, that's what your old man calls that, squishy. Yeah, we'll be bloody squishy tomorrow, my bird. Christ, trying to fit me in there, my father, my mother, and Loretta in that little bloody thing. Oh my gosh. But, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, won't we, my cock? Yeah, it, it's gonna... Um, you you ain't gonna do it, by the way. You, you're, a, you're a big guy. Mr. T's barely got any mobility. You ain't gonna do it. Listen, here's my keys. Borrow the Mercedes, use the pickup truck. Uh, you can all go back. Loretta can leave uh, Squishy here because we'll be using it at some point anyway. But to be honest, it'll work out quite well. If you, you borrow the Mercedes, take Mr. T and Mrs. T back in a bit of comfort. Loretta ain't going to want to be squeezing the car as well, given that, you know, a couple of months pregnant now. Uh, she's starting to get a bit uncomfortable, so that that works out quite well. I'll drive back to court in the van, assuming he's organised the van, and then I'll just drive back in the pickup truck with Loretta. We'll stay over a day or two, and yeah, that, that'll work out quite well. And to be honest, I think that's perfect. Uh, I couldn't think of a better solution, if I'm honest with you. Yeah, bloody good thinking, my cock. Cool, Lo Loretta seen something good in you, didn't she? Bloody hell, smart guy you are. Christ. Well, I don't know about that. Don't know about that. Anyway, I need to sell this now. We've done pretty well. That's almost a full trailer. This, I believe, holds 13 tons, maybe, this trailer. Amazing. Really, really good. Right, so I need to go on. Yeah, look, there's the keys. It's in the shed. Shed's unlocked anyway. To be honest, I think I might have left one of the doors open. So just go grab it now. Help yourself. Head on over. Just let them know. I'll be over first thing in the morning. And uh, we'll see what we can do. Get Mr. T off to his new house. But I kind of don't want him to go. It still doesn't quite feel real if I'm honest with you. But anyway, have a good evening. I'll see you in the morning, Paul. Cheers, buddy. What a man. What a star. This has kind of really saved the day, you know. It is, although it may not look it, it is starting to get a bit dimmer. I tell you what, I'm just I'm not used to this. This traffic is so conscious around kind of harvesting time. I just can't believe how nice they are to tractors. Back in Cornwall, they were never like that, that's for sure. Anyway, right, let's head on down now. Oh, I think I see the back of PC Atkins there. I better make sure I'm not speeding. Seeing as this tractor can actually do slightly over the speed limit. Uh, so he's just sitting in there, having his tea or something. That's one thing I don't miss having to deal with, but that's for sure. I haven't heard anything from those guys in there at all. Not since not since one of them went into hospital, the other one got arrested. 
Yep, not had a single bit of trouble from them. Mind you, surely the, the brother's got to be due to come out of hospital at some point because it's been a couple of months now. This was kind of back in sort of May time, I think, beginning of May back when that happened. I, I try and forget what happened, to be honest, but yeah, you know, we're, we're now in August. Yeah, I wonder when he is due to, to come home. Okay, here we are. So we'll just head on into here. Now, I don't know exactly where they want me to to unload the trailer, to be honest. Looks like they've got some sort of sorting grate or something there on the ground. So I'm assuming there, but we'll, um, we'll stop here. Shut off the engine and we'll go and pre-organise what's happening. Yeah, no worries, buddy. I will do. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, no, I can get back in there. It's alright. Thanks, mate. Okay. Just got to back it into there. Let's uh, see if we can do this without embarrassing ourselves. He just wants it unloaded into that grate. So I think it has some sort of kind of weight measure or something actually built into it so I don't know there's an element of me having to trust them to be honest with you because I've got no way of measuring it but I know roughly you know the the trailer's probably wow 85% full so I know there is a decent amount in there right I think that should do it let's get used to this new tractor there we go unloading now it's a good chance to have a look at the underside of the trailer, actually. Wow. Looks pretty good. Again, I didn't see anything come out, but it's definitely no holes in that. Those hydraulic struts there, those, those kind of masts, they do look quite clean, you know. They look quite new. Yeah, I think we've got a, a bargain here with this trailer. We've got a good deal. I don't actually know how half of it works, though. That must be the manual lifter, I guess, like a, a winch, just in case the hydraulics break. Hopefully, we'll never have to try that. Amazing. Right, let's go see what the damage is. And then, we're pretty much done for the day, actually. It's getting a bit dimmer. The sun's going down. But actually, we're alright. It's been nice. Made a bit of money. Hopefully, it's a decent amount of money. And we've got the tractor. Amazing. Didn't think it was going to happen, but it is there. Let's see what these guys are going to give me. Wow. 900 pound a ton. 13 tons. 13 tons. Amazing. I'm really happy with that. I feel like we're, we're progressing. We're getting somewhere. This, this must be the first proper income. All I've done is borrow and spend ever since I took on this farm from Nan and Grandad. This is amazing. This is such a good feeling. It's just a shame Mr. T's moving away. It's the only downer on the day. But anyway, what can I do? Let's just make our way back now. Let's just make our way home. Great day. I'm, I'm really happy. I think I got some brownie points today with uh, with Paul, the future father-in-law. Letting him borrow the Mercedes is going to make it so much easier for them tomorrow. Honestly, could you imagine those four people getting into that little squishy, into that smart car? Which never would have happened. <laughs> it would have been quite funny to watch, though. I don't think Mr. T would have ever got back out. This isn't over. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you, boy. You better watch your back. <laughs> <laughs>